Vienna enjoyed its most prosperous days between the 16th and 18th century. Due to agriculture sustained by the production of wine, the population amplified considerably. The town acquired a castle from Philippe IV and received the title of city in 1630. The concept of the firstborn son becoming heir was enforced and the other siblings were sent to join the army or the priesthood. Ensured by the continuation of their lineage, the nobility built great houses. Built in stone, many still stand today and have been restored to their former glory, conserving the family heraldic shields, wrought ironwork on the window bars and the wooden balconies. The lower floor was built in stone and the upper in brick with the upper floor often holding a gallery with pointed archways. Actually, it's said that in one of these palaces, in the home of the Torres in Acterios, that one of Viana's most important historical characters, Caesar Borgia, spent his last days. La primera vinculación de César Borgia con Navarra es su nombramiento como obispo de Pamplona cuando contaba con 16 años. Su segunda fuerte vinculación es el matrimonio con Carlota de Albret. Carlota, que es la hermana del rey navarro Juan de Albret. Por lo tanto, pasa a ser su cuñado, dato que será importante para entender por qué llega a Navarra César. He had fought in Italy for the Pope's army. After the death of his father, Pope Alexander VI, he fell into bad grace and was imprisoned by Fernando the Catholic in La Mota Castle. He escaped, and in the autumn of 1506, he took refuge in the lands of his cousin, the King of Navarra, Juan de Albret. The King has spent years immersed in a civil war between the Agramontes and the Beaumontes, who, at the command of the Count of Larin, wanted a union between Navarra and Castile. Caesar Borgia was put in charge of the king's troops and besieged Viana, which supported the Bermontes. In a few days he conquered the town, but not the castle, which he besieged. On the night of the 11th of March 1507, aided by a storm and the carelessness of the guards, the besieged received provisions from the troops. On discovering the trick, Kaiser Borgia searched madly for the helpers. He climbed on his horse and left Viana by the Solana Gate, but none of his men followed him. On the road to Mendavia, in a spot called La Barranca Solada, the knights of the Count of Larin killed him with lances. He died as violently as he had lived, aged 31, and left an expression, for Kaiser or nothing. Viana was conquered by the King of Navarra and Kaiser Borgia was buried in St. Mary's Church on the left of the altar. On his tomb we find a Gothic style epitaph. Here he lies in shallow earth, he who was feared by all, he who in war and peace had it in his hand. What will you look for? Dignified things to cry for. Yet here your journey ends, walking away won't cure you now. Pero un obispo de Calahorra es el que hace que no tuviera ese privilegio en el altar mayor y que le enterraran en la calle, donde los hombres y las bestias pisaran sobre su tumba y así Dios le perdonara los pecados que había cometido. The tomb of Kaiser Borgia was forgotten about until the end of the 19th century, when in 1945 his bones were exhumed and studied. Today he rests under a marble tomb in front of the Renaissance Church of St. Mary. Viana still holds the memory of this man who lived such a turbulent life. Renaissance prince born in Rome and well versed in the arts and sciences and a great military planner. In 2007, with the support of the Novaran government, the 500th anniversary of his death at Viana was commemorated with cultural events and publications. There was also a trek of nine kilometers along the road where Kaiser Borja was killed many years ago.